Welcome to SGS College and thank you for your interest to study A-Level Chemistry. I will now introduce you to the course by talking firstly about chemistry at SGS, then about the structure of the course, assessment methods and finally entry criteria. I am Elena Kirizoyu and I have taught chemistry at SGS since 2010. Now, please click onto the video at the left hand side to follow a short virtual tour of the chemistry lab at SGS. This is where your chemistry lessons will take place. It is a newly built facility and can accommodate up to 18 students. We have four fume cupboard spaces and desks that allow each student to carry practical work individually. I would like to add that students studying chemistry at SGS have consistently obtained excellent results in exams. As an example, in 2019, students that achieved grades A star, A and B were about 50%, with a 100% pass rate. All students, with no exception, have progressed to university, some being admitted to medicine or Oxbridge. Chemistry A-Level is a highly respected A-Level and it's a good choice for many degrees. It opens a wide range of careers you can go into, such as chemistry, zoology, engineering, medicine, pharmacy, forensic science, sports science, environmental chemistry, nanotechnology, chemical and drug industry, and many, many more. Also, studying chemistry at A-Level will help you boost your knowledge and also enables you to develop essential employability skills, such as researching, problem solving and analyzing, teamwork, numeracy, communication and practical skills, as well as hugely valuable independent study and reasoning skills. A level chemistry course covers a wide variety of basic concepts, such as the structure of the atom, the interaction of matter and energy, how to control reactions, patterns in the periodic table, understanding carbon-based chemistry, all included in these six modules of study. Four of them are covered in the first year and two others in year two. In all these topics, you will need to learn facts and build a body of knowledge, but also to understand and apply the ideas. Many topics include calculations, and so you should feel comfortable rearranging equations and using numbers. Importantly, chemistry is a hands-on science. You will carry out experiments on a regular basis. This is to consolidate your theory work, but also provide you with the opportunity to use new apparatus and build your skills and confidence to complete safely and accurately practical work. The exam board for chemistry is OCR, and at SGS you will sit an exam at the end of year one, consisting of two papers, breadth and depth in chemistry, that test you on everything studied during your first year. This is very useful as it enables a proper understanding of your progress and also identifies areas you need to work on. However, because the course is linear, it means that the final A-level exams take place at the end of the second year, and any internal or AS exams taken at the end of the first year do not contribute to the overall grade of the A-level. There are three written papers, two of which question particular topics from the two years whilst the third is more synoptic, asking questions which cut across several topics and has a greater emphasis on the understanding of practical work that you have developed during the course. Therefore, paper one examines modules one, two, three and five. Paper two examines modules one, two, four and six. And paper three covers all six modules. You will also need to complete a minimum 12 core practicals, which your teacher assesses. The practical mark is published as an endorsement to your A-level grade. Additionally, throughout the year, you will sit several internal tests and formal assessments that will measure your progress to date. 
Enable chemistry requires interest and enthusiasm in the subject, as well as commitment to work hard. You will need to develop your abilities to work independently and take responsibilities for your studies. Usually, students have studied the subject at GCSE, and ideally, you will have at least seven in GCSE chemistry or combined science and seven in math. This will enable you to succeed in A-level chemistry. Finally, I would like to thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please contact me to this email address and I'll be more than happy to assist you.